Rising costs are hitting some local nonprofits pretty hard, especially those seeing an increased demand for their services. 10 News reporter Connor Dietrich is working for you to show you how increased prices aren't stopping one from getting the job done. Odie is one of the newest members of the Roanoke Valley Horse Rescue. CEO and founder Pat Muncy says the horse was in critical condition when they picked her up. Odie here, he felt was going to die on him. Uh, we found out that Odie had been attacked by dogs. Dog bites running up and down her legs. Odie also came to the rescue more than 300 pounds underweight, a sight commonly seen by the rescue team. We do everything that we possibly can. We're, we're here to help them. As Odie joins 39 other horses, Muncie is needing a little help of her own. We try to keep it at no, no more than 40 because that's what we know we financially can take care of, or could. <laughs> Things are getting tighter and tighter. Price increases hitting an already expensive operation even more. One of the biggest jumps, the price of hay. The price has gone up from 50 or $45, and now we're paying, now we're paying 65 and 70 for one roll of hay. We put out 13 rolls a week. Muncie now dipping into savings built up over years to maintain her organization, and one that's seeing an unusual demand this time of year. A lot of people are, are really financially strapped due to the economy, and they're cutting back on their needs for their animals. Animals like Odie, who without the Roanoke Valley Horse Rescue's help, pretty, I mean, that's pretty amazing what you are doing. could be gone. In Franklin County, Connor Dietrich, 10 News, working for you.